right, boys, this is the latest I've ever been on gameplays. I actually scheduled a tattoo appointment. You can see I literally just came back from it. And I scheduled this a month ago. We've never had Tuesday content until now. But it's actually good that I'm late on these gameplays because... Brees Hall actually just got angry runs. I would have already recorded the video and already had it posted already over here on YouTube before the angry runs ever got added to the card. So I guess this kind of helped us in our fate. So we actually have a great golden ticket now. He looks amazing on paper. Let's go see how he plays. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, Easy Mutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. He's tall with angry runs. So I'm pretty sure it takes a... Like, I'll show you guys real quick. That's like the thing we're mainly here for. All it takes is offensive downs three. Comp is the online. So three plays down without it. And then I don't know if it's on all game. And I don't know if it's just... It might be an AKA one where it turns off and on. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to see in game. But his zero APs, that's what I'm going to rock in the video today, are human joystick and evasive. His one APs are playmaker and route tech, which route tech's cool. But at the end of the day, I'm going to use the zero APs on top of the one AP anger runs. But you guys know with golden tickets, they get a bunch of 99 stats. The speed, the excel, the agility, the change of direction, the carrying. I mean, this card on paper looks like the best running back in the game, especially with the anger runs toss onto it. And you can come down here. I mean, he's good at everything. Literally everything. What's his short hour running is? As well i know 71 short running i would have loved the breeze would have boosted that up a little bit but it's all right man this card looks like a menace let's take him into a game and see how good this angry runs is on him all right boys so i guess i just read some stuff on twitter as well i'm just getting home for the day it's on for six plays all for three on for six plays all for three throughout the entire game that's not a bad cycle at all and we did jump into house rules i think this is a all right, I mean, you can see us already getting players in animations. Our stats are a little bit fraudulent. This is a house rules game mode, but we'll still see a lot of gameplay with him. I plan on getting at least two to three games with him. The question is, is he better than Eric Dickerson? So I will say his player model is definitely not as good. He's a little bit shorter. Obviously, the catching's not all the way there as well in the route running too. And he doesn't have zero P Energizer, but I still think he's a great card nonetheless. And all, another thing that does suck as well is his X Factor is not going to be on all game too. I don't know how we didn't burst out of there. Chaney Crowder hit us from behind. Come on, man. I think people are going to stick with Dickerson, though, until these guys like start falling in price. My guy, Darrington Evans, we love Darrington as well. He also got the exact same X Factor, too. So you got he's a lot cheaper. He's 600K. Brees Hall is sitting at like 1.1 right now, currently on Xbox. So I guess do with what you want that information. But you can see our guy, Brees Hall, 99 in every physical stat. So that's speed, excel, acceler, everything. Literally, I forgot one. Agility. Easy, man. One juke all the way to the crib. Come on, Brees. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I usually have bad times with Brees Hall cards. It looks like they finally made a good one. I'm finally enjoying a Brees Hall card in like the, what, three years? Has it been two, three years? Hey, casual. Has he been in the league? Is this his second year or his third year? I might be a casual. I don't know. But we're running to the weak side right here, right at his user. Come here. Oh, yeah. Come on, Brees Hall. Angry runs. Just trucking defenders right over. I mean, this is awesome, dude. I, I I like to switch it up. I am so bored with Dickerson. I have, like, this Madden ADHD thing where I can't use a card for more than two weeks or I hate it. Bo Jackson, for example. Now it's Eric Dickerson. I might have to keep me a Brees Hall. Don't know which gameplay I'm doing second because I, I really did not plan for these cards to get angry runs and whatnot. I think I want to do a Peppers gameplay despite him being disappointing even with the X Factor. But at the end of the day... I don't know, dude. I kind of want to do Darrington because he's also very good. Vincent Jackson's good. Let me know in the comments, who do you guys want to see next? I'm, I'll probably be working on it before I even read the comments. But at the end of the day, it's a comment that maybe we'll do a third video, depending on how much players you guys want to see out here. But let's see what he has. He's starting to right at us. Ray Lewis, man. That's going to be the game right there. Once you lead by 30, the game's over. Let's just keep on spamming these. Get a lot of reps with them. See, this is why I kind of like recording in this mode. You could just literally spam the entire time. So I can get the ball first every time. It's still basically the exact same thing. And I know if you get tackled for loss, you end up losing points. But I'm really here just to showcase the card. So it's whatever. I think it fits in the game. And also, I think reps is the biggest thing. I know some gameplays where I've had two possessions and it's lasted 15 minutes. Those are the worst. So I think this is a good mode to record in. I know enough with the yap sesh. Let's see if Brees Hall could do it again. And we are playing the A-gap, it looks like, on this one. So this is going to be a little bit more of a tough game. A-gap. So if he can run against this blitz, he'll be amazing. This is the best blitz in the game. As many of you guys know, a lot of people run it. Let's see if we can just run to the weak side right where that John Madden's going to be blitzing. Come on, man. Cut, cut back. Hey, boys, angry runs counters avalanche. That was a terrible juke by me. I knew he had avalanche the entire time. I still juked right into him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, angry runs, counters, avalanche. I did not know that actually until now. I think that's actually like really good news. That helps a lot, especially with this card. And uh-oh, we got him cooked right here, boys. Wide open, Tyree kill. Come on, man. Great animation. All right, boys. Come on, man. Let's see if our guy Brees can shoot all the way through on this little base real quick. I, we're actually finally getting good run block. And he has secure on that one player. I, 
you guys saw the vision right there. I, I, he's actually, I'm telling you, this is actually a pretty solid player we matched up against right there. That was tough, dude. We almost got all the way out. All right, auto handoff, man. Let's see if the RPO could open it up. A cutback. He's over pursuing, and Brees Hall literally looks like the exact first game. It looks exactly like the first game. We didn't finish it because we're playing a lot better of a defense right now. I mean, he's popping right now. He really is. You know you're having a great gameplay when they end up audibling over to 6-1 to get six down linemen to stop your running back gameplay. But you guys know, Brees Hall, he going to dominate regardless. Uh, see, this is perfect. We can actually pass the ball now. We used all of our six plays up. The X Factor's gone. Let's see if we can just play some solid offense at this point. And our guy, Chad Powers, he has trust, but... We'll slide regardless. The RPO absolutely destroys this, usually. Usually it destroys it. So let's see what that guy ends up doing on the edge. See, now, okay, maybe I'm trolling right now. But, boys, we got to get the first out with Brees Hall. Or we got to get the touchdown with Brees Hall. I know we had the touchdown. I know it's free. But come on, man. See, we could end up losing points here, but it's all good. We're going to end up scoring with him regardless. Without the X Factor 2, can we punch it in? Oh, yeah, that's... I was about to say, that's free. We ended up not even getting the first. I mean, that might help us two clock in the long run here, but that is tough not to score there. All right, boys, the X Factor is back on, dude. He probably knows we're going left. No, he's using the right side. And we get the easiest touchdown of our life. We basically control the entire clock. Under a minute and 30 seconds left. Dude, Brees Hall, that's all you need in this event, man. A good running back. Game three. So we've been playing against a bunch of different schemes right now. We should be being able to, we should be able to ball. Come on, Brees. Have another good game. And it looks like 6-1 once again. We have one guy to beat. You guys know we're juking to the outside. Sadly, I think the juke considers, like, that's considered basically what, um, like an angry runs play. So if we actually got tackled again right there, I think we would have went down in the first attempt. But come on, man. Brees, all he's dominating in every game so far. This is awesome. This might be the first time we actually get to play defense. We've been controlling the clock. We finally scored on a big play right there. And Brees Hall, wow, come on, man. Now that, I mean, dude, if you bought Brees Hall when he didn't have angry runs, I guess he didn't have angry runs until like 30 minutes ago. So he didn't have angry runs for like four hours. If you got him, I don't know what the cheapest he got, but if you got him before that, he shot up all the way to a mill. Dude, that would have been an awesome snipe for you because you get a top three running back game, arguably the number one, arguably the number one running back in the game for literally way cheaper than he's actually going to go for. I don't know, but let's go finish it off. Come on, man. Brees Hall, we need to go crazy. Let's get a nice little counter down real quick. Oh, yeah, we're gone. Cut back. Oh, yeah, one man to beat. I mean, dude, this card. Boys, I've had a lot of good plays with Dickerson. I don't know if it's because he's tiny in-game, like the 5'11 builders, but this dude is squeezing through every hole. Pause, but this card's amazing, dude. I don't know. Brees Hall might have found himself a little home on the team. Boys, I need to know, is he RB1? What do you guys think? Is it Dickerson? Is it Darianton Evans? Is it my guy, Brees Hall? Brees Hall just had in himself an insane couple drives right there. I had a lot of fun using him. You guys got to let me know, man. It's a hard decision because you got to remember, Dickerson also is very good. He's also way cheaper. He's like 800K cheaper right now. But let me know at the in the comments, boys, and I hope to see you guys in the next Golden Ticket gameplay. Peace out, man.